Clan Eshin is weak as hell. Yeah, they just have these two settlements. Harmless. Are they at war with anybody? <laughs> yes. What? Fobbles and Gash are the parts of the source. Oh, they have military allies with freaking... All right, screw these guys. Uh, Fobbles and Gash. We may be able to aid each other. My I would like to join war against Clan Eshin. Modest. And I would like you to give me money for it. Even though I have a ton of money already. Okay, maybe I don't care this much. Very well. Cool. Thanks for 300 gold. I just want an excuse to punch this guy in the mouth. Let's get Flaxen's runes of seeking on my cannons. Yeah, okay. Clabracock will be tested! I, I do enjoy uh Iron Brow's <laughs> Iron Brow's ability to like exert dominance over any faction he's attacking by hovering far away from their settlement on top of impassable terrain. Like that's just a level of chatitude that most legendary lords just cannot uh, freaking match up to. Crooked Moon Army Book, Red by Inquisition, Chapter 1, Combat Turn for Crooked Moon. Just kidding, they die before that happens. Chapter 2, Don't Play Crooked Moon. Why you waste your money on this? What are you doing with your life? Are you like the URs off? Yes. Yes, I am. Make Sack a that. Ooh, Banner of Eternal Flame. Alright, Grugini Pickhead secured. Um, let us do, sure, Ruin of the Hearth and Home, get that immune to psychology aura going on. Then again, I have a bunch of longbeards who are already immune to psychology, but the whatever. The blessed pick of Grungni will soon be reforged. I like it that they have voice lines for all these, like, artifacts as well. I mean, they're not, like, long voice lines or something, but it's just extra little, just an extra little bit of effort, and I appreciate that. That whatever you reforge an item, it, like, says something about it, specifically. It's not just like, we got another artifact! Woo! <laughs> Are you limited to what you can play during early access? I can play this free lord for 15 hours. Currently. Until the 9th, where I will have access to the lizardmen and the beastmen and be able to play unlimitedly. Essentially. Arcane wisdom. How much longer can you play him? So, uh, let's see. We played for like seven hours earlier, and we've been playing for about four hour, four and a half hours now. So, we're about at eleven and a half hours at the moment. Ish. Out of the fifteen hours I can play. Iron Brow. Yes, that is correct. Or I could play, so I could play the the, the normal Beastman factions, but I could not build any of the new units. <laughs> but I could use the new Bray Shaman. So it's a little bit weird. Always up there. So I figure just and I, I again that would take out of my fifteen hours that I could play the the FLC as well. So, <laughs> I feel like it's a better choice to do this. <laughs> Lord of Clan Morgrim. Good old, old frowner over here. I... Uh, okay, so... What's the one? So, S, Ancestral Runo Grangini. So, we need to do that. We'll finish up killing Clan Eshin, and then we'll do this. And then we just need one more... It has been lost to our people for far too long. Who does this belong to? Oh, the Court of Liberus has that. That's interesting. So freaking weird. So freaking weird. Where's the... Where's this I shall at? punish the thieves who took it. Oh, it's up here. It's Hexalotl. Gotcha. I've wanted a new Dwarf Star Prison forever. Yeah, well, you got it. Um, so obviously, starting down here on the Vortex map is pretty cool. 
I, I mean, there's still, it's freaking party time in Lustria, obviously. Still like a thousand factions down here. But at least in the Vortex map, you have a bigger place to be. Uh, and then for the Mortal Empires map, you start like, technically it's like over here at Carrick Norn or whatever. And then, like, the, uh, the other lizard men, like, over here and everything. I've seen a couple players play the new Doom Pole. I thought they spread out, like, short servers got different lords. Uh, no. So, there's there's a tierage for content creators. Um, so, there's, like, a tier above me, essentially. And those people get everything else earlier. Like, they got to play this guy earlier, and they're getting to play the DLC lords earlier as well. Essentially. That's the way that works. Because they got more street cred than I do. <laughs> Essentially. But yeah, I believe today was the first day that they were able to play the new DLC. Like the... Like, yeah. <laughs> Just beat up Legend of Total War. By the ancestors, you got some. Take, take his street cred. Another access for a thousand. You know what? Sure. There's no reason for me to hate you, honestly. It's British. How tough can you be? <laughs> Uh, freaking pirates sailing up and down the coast here. Another new player question. For Tyrion, I'm building him with all the defensive stats in his combat line just to make him as tanky as possible. Is this a good way to use him? So, Tyrion is insanely strong uh, in melee combat in general. So, he has, he starts with incredibly high stats. Like, really high stats. So if, you, if you're pumping stats into him as well, he's just going to probably be able to beat most people in combat and most, <laughs> probably like solo armies if you max out his stats. Uh, usually when I level up lords as well, if I'm going into their, lords and heroes, if I'm going into their stats, I will put stats into like melee defense first because um, keeping them alive is more important than them hitting slightly more often usually. Unless they already have like insanely high melee defense. Um, so that is viable, for sure. But though the other thing about Tyrion is, is he does because his stats are so high initially. You could put more. What's up? You could put more points in the red skill tree earlier because he doesn't really need extra stats right off. So you can use red skill tree stuff to boost his army up earlier on in the game. But I mean. If you want to make him to a one-man army as quickly as possible, it's valid. Rune Lord, that will, <laughs> that will indeed do it. Master Rune Lord. It's one of those things where it's not, it's kind of hard to make a wrong choice with Tyrion, honestly, because he's just so freaking good. <laughs> Which is one of the reasons why uh, I always suggest him as a new, as a lord for new fact for like new players, because he's just so strong on his own that you can really you can pretty much do anything you want with him, and he will be successful to some extent. But yeah, for most lords, I usually try to focus on, if they're a spellcaster, I'll focus on getting the spells I want, and then going red skill tree. Uh, and then, but if, they do, if they're not a spellcaster, usually I'll focus on red skill tree and then their other skills. Unless they have, like, some really cool, like, individual skills. Play through, I want Vortex on easy, now I'm doing more than players on normal with him again. Gotcha. Yeah, he's a cool legendary lord. Like I said, super strong. Alright, let's get a Tinker's Den, I think. Because so I'd like to check out these engineers. Oh, 
I'd like to take a look at these engineers, see what they got for me. My anger burns. So, I've been told they changed the way the engineers work. It seems this isn't worth putting on a dragon. It's also useful on foot. Well, Tyrion doesn't get it. Uh, Tyrion doesn't get a dragon. He gets a horse. And he doesn't really lose... He doesn't lose anything from being on the horse. He just becomes a bigger target, essentially. <clears throat> but it makes it ridiculously fast. So it's really just, again, a preference thing. Do you want to be ridiculously fast? Uh, but be more susceptible to... Like, spears and stuff? or And potentially arrows? Or do you want him to just run around and kick people in the face? What brings you to my mighty fall? I usually don't put him on the horse, to be honest. Because I like him just running around and punching people in the face. He's pretty effective that way. But if you want him to run around and be... like He gets like a hundred speed or something like that. <laughs> when you put him on the horse. Which is a lot. And he doesn't lose like any stats for it. A lot of the times when you put somebody on a mount... Their stats will get slightly adjusted because, like, the mount will have lower melee defense or higher, depending, right? But the horse really doesn't do anything to him other than make, just make him a slightly larger target and very fast. And weak against anti-large, obviously. Alright. So it's war! Good! Slay so, it! that. That. And clan action destroyed. Okay, well, that was short-lived. I would say it was nice knowing you, clan action, but that would be a lie. Give me some resolute here. For more charge bonus. And... We'll go foe seeker on him, I guess, so we get the... So we have that ability. But yeah, like I said, I usually don't put him on a mount just because I like his flexibility off of the mount. Because then he can go up on walls and stuff too. So like, if you get inside a city, you just send him up on the wall and he can... Like, I, it can't really be beat. Like, if he's fighting people on a wall, just not enough people can actually get around him to kill him because he's, he's so strong, right? <laughs> so if he's fighting enemies up there, like he's just, just going to kill everyone. <laughs> So that's always nice, too. These guys own a lot of territory. Yep. Alright, let's... forge our next item here. So let's forge the Blessed Pick. Our miners shall be feared everywhere! Which then is going to... Draw in more enemies. Grangini, the mighty Allfather of the Dawi, taught our ancestors the very skills that have assured our survival for centuries. This pick is a holy relic crafted in his honor by the oldest of the Dawi, and Longbeards will not be appeased until it is recovered. Alright, so now we have this ancestral rune, which allows us to make a unit vulnerable to damage and give it plus 24 mil attack and unbreakable for 35 seconds three times. With a cooldown of 120 seconds. Which is pretty ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> ridiculous. Alright, but now we're going to have a bunch of ratmen coming after us, so we have to prepare for that. Free, same stream for this morning? Nah, I took a five-hour break. I took a, like a... I stopped streaming for five hours and took a three-hour nap in between streams. But yeah, we streamed for about nine and a half hours earlier today. And now we're doing the, the regular stream time. You're not welcome, so I won't pretend otherwise. Oh, Jeez, make it snap. Leave me alone. Please, stop talking to me. Are you freaking undead people? Can't see time? Oh, no, that's fine. Perfect room for a war machine when you get attacked by Skaven. There you go. 
Take it, the master engineer. I'm working on the building to construct them right now. But I don't have them yet. Oh, we got some beastmen now. Okay, so it's not Skaven this time, it's beastmen. Cool. Um... Just gonna drop into ambush dance here, see if they like underway move into me. Or beast paths in this case. What do you want? What do you want? I hope. Alrighty. Uh, what's this? Build an armory. What's the best unit size to use to prevent lag? Uh, so, if you have, like, a really bad computer, I really wouldn't go under medium. Things start getting weird at medium, but it's still, like, decent. Anything below medium unit size is... It, it just is, like, an entirely different game. A 2060? A 2060 is amazing. You should be able to go ultra that if you wanted to. I would play on... I play on large unit size because that's what the game is, like, balanced around. Um, but with a 2060, you should be able to go on ultra and be totally okay. Unless your freaking uh, processor sucks really bad. It's Cherry Army taking the mountain pass. Makes perfect sense, right? Just freaking bumping through the mountain pass like, oh gosh. <laughs> Almost reminds me of old. Yeah, I would go on large unit size. Personally. Skeletal horts. Let's see, where the heck? Hmm. Ready? On our way! The trouble is, I'm not sure where those guys went. So they respawned up here. I'm not sure where they are now. Guess we go look for them. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, we get this lost underwear junction. Sure, why not? And we get iron. There we go. The walls. We have tons of money. We can just we can just do everything. Just level up everything. Hey, we get engineer now. All right, we can check out the engineer. Let's go here. Recruit hero. Plus five. Plus five. Plus five. Construction cost for all buildings. Research rate five percent. Ward save. Enemy hero action success, success chance. Let's go with Groby. <laughs> Svenner Groby Nutter. <laughs> well, I mean, we have to get him just because of the freaking name, if nothing else. Is it hard to do the epic item quest? Uh, well, you just have to fight a bunch of guys, basically. I haven't done the final quest yet, so I have no idea how that is. Ready to do the guild's bedding. What needs to be All right, done? so what do we got now? What did they change this stuff to? Uh, so now you have restock, which gives you ammunition back. We got ammunition for missile units. Triangulation gives you missile strength. Leadership size, sapper, speed for all missile units. Oh, you get the Zoof bar, 42 pounders. That's a bound spell. It's kind of cool. And this is all for him personally, I believe. Yeah. Ammunition increased range in ant infantry for him. Oh, okay. Or you could do that. So you could do this. Decrease range, increase the number of projectiles. So you could, so you could either give him a, you either give him a sniper rifle or a shotgun, essentially. 
Yeah, so they took the range away. Yeah, they took the range increase away. It looks like it's unfortunate. Sag. Oh well, this is what it is. Cinder blast shell. This is the vortex, yeah. Still have increased mobility though, so that's nice. And we do get the Zoof bar, 42 pounders. So yeah, you can't make your... <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't make your organ guns like a bazillion range anymore. You can't get like four engineers in your army and they just like... Master of Runecraft. Shoot forever. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's entirely fair. Like, that was kind of ridiculous. They made it more engineering. Yeah, they kind of replace ammo though, which is nice. Um, I mean, triangulation still gives you damage. They also took away the thing. I'm pretty sure they did. They took away the thing that like makes it so your guns the, like dig in or whatever. That makes it so your guns can't like move, but it gives them a bunch of like other bonuses. And it's just as accuracy and reload skill. But yeah, they don't have that like... Okay, this is just 12% for the entire army as well. So that's nice. And you got a flash bomb too. But yeah, that, that one ability with it like made it so your guns couldn't turn or anything. It was always kind of a weird one. Do they have extra powder? Yes. Mm, I don't think so. They have restock, which replenishes ammunition. Oh, they do still have entrenchment. Never mind. It's still here. It's just they just don't have it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cannot move. <laughs> it gives you a bunch of bonuses. Have extra powder as a passive buff. Give this guy a student. Let's do that. Okay. Am I allowed to give? I can't give like a review or anything now. I can't talk in depth about my opinions about him until uh, the 13th, I think. It's the embargo drop on that. On being able to give an in depth opinion. Other than I think he's cool, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that doesn't count as a review. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't count as a review. <laughs> New Rune Lord is pretty coggers though. Oh, he's got a bunch of freaking ogre cav as well. There you go, Master Engineer, keep the extra powder skill. I imagine. Do we have to keep the restock or whatever for ammunition? Is there a bridge up here? There is. Let's go to this side of the river. Oh, Beastman, where are you? I know you're over here somewhere. I know you spawned here. Sweltering. Where the crap did you go? Shift this, shift this guy down here because he has a bonus to like gold mines and stuff. Very good skill for the thing. Uh, the thing has some okay stuff. Uh, let's see here. 
for it cannot. So you get Keeper of the Gate, which gives Vigor loss reduction for Hammerer units. He also then gets the Garden passive and Expert Charge Defense. Iron Beard, Fire Resistance, 75%. Attack cost flammable, reducing fire resistance. And then 50% ammunition for Iron Drakes and Iron Breakers and Miners. Or you get Wanderer, which gives Snipe to Ranger units and Vanguard Deployment and Stock to him. Oh, hey, Barely. Basement faction destroyed, naming another iconic <laughs> kind of duo. Duo. Beastman faction and four no, Cygors on turn five. <laughs> How's it going? Not too bad. We're making it we're making our way. Master Engineer Action. Thank you again for the raid earlier. Yesterday, I guess at this point. <laughs> you and your community are swell. Trying to find these beastmen. <laughs> yeah, it's very rare that I am streaming. <laughs> that I'm streaming at a time where you could actually like raid or host me. <laughs> See is how uh, you guys over there in Europe slash UK land are you waking up. There we go. Construction guilds. Oh, I should have waited on that. Rip. Oh, well. It's fine. Negative growth. Slayer ward. Research rate. I do. Damn time zones, right? Should abolish the time zones. Abolish them, I say. Uh, let's get Thunderer so we get the Grudge Throne Cannon or Guns down. upgraded. Hey, D-Bombers. Thank you for that follow. You the man, man. I'm a run on film. Okay. Uh moving out. I have no idea where these beastmen went. It's concerning me. Just a bit. Alright, so let's get the waterproof packaging now. So we can work towards gem cutters and obsidian quarries, giving us more money. Don't know Kung Fu? Don't worry. Me forge. Somewhere in the back of your brain you know Kung Fu. And one day you'll just wake up and be like, I know Kung Fu. Onward. Ah. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep chilling here with this guy for right now. You don't really have any place to go with him. See, I'm busy. Where are these beastmen? <laughs> okay, so apparently the Spear of the Jungle and the Fighters of the Great Plan are starting war with literally everyone, so. Let's see what happens with that, I guess. Ah, I like it warm. Oh, here they are. Those are capsized. Not actually like enemies of me either. Curious. Okay, so maybe they're not like the faction that spawns for me doing this quest. Are we actually out of dudes spawning for that quest? Maybe. 
All right. It shall be so, reunited with the Dowie soon. There's that there, and then where's the other one for that? The ones who took it will pay with their lives. That's there. It's owned by Liberus. That's ruins. Did this? Okay, that's or the lore masters. This is this bottle. Hey. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I think this is up here. Can I become, become friends with Hexalotl? How much money would this take? Probably all of it. Moderate. I see. Low. It literally take, literally take freaking two hundred thousand. I'm tempted. No. Okay. Watch what it costs to get military access. Freaking bothersome. Okay, cool. Alright, now I got military access, so that helps a bit. We'll come back in a couple turns and see if we can't work that up a little bit more. Engineer, we'll give you extra powder. Uh. Hi, what can I do? Oh. I think there's a special trait that gives you extra powder. Unless you're talking about this stuff doesn't. No, none of this stuff does. I don't think any of this stuff does either. No. Pretty sure he gets a unique trait. By Grugni, this had better be good. I haven't seen a unique, unique trait for it yet. If if there is one, I haven't seen it pop up. Maybe there is. I don't know. I don't know. That leveled up. Lost Valley. Finish leveling that up. One rug. He can chill. All right, so now we need to figure out how to get the last. We need to get the last uh, artifact collected so we can go for the final battle. Thing is the master of your damage buff stack? It should. <laughs> well, there goes our trade agreements with the followers in the gash because they lost their port. <laughs> oh, they're actually destroyed. Never mind. They just lose their port. They actually full on died. <laughs> Rip. And those guys, and those guys have freaking disappeared. Okay, fair enough. Quick about it. Let's go wander off down here for a couple moments. How long until this levels up? Three turns. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
How long until this levels up? Probably gonna be forever on this. Lord. Two more turns until it goes to three, and then probably gonna be another like 15 turns before it goes to four. Eesh. I wanna get I wanna get these guys. to do the guild's bidding. Right. We should... Should get our main army, bring them back over here. And we'll see about... collecting... Ah, okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. I know about this one, it's a... Uh... Why? Oh, we out. There goes my freaking reliability rating. I have nothing for the... I'm not going to war with all the Ulthwall, and that sounds like a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Uh, what is it? Dino looking units in your Lord, Legend Lord's army. Those are probably my ogres, and I do have a Carnosaur in my army as well. No one is work without. So these guys here, these are my Mordenfang Cav. They're my uh, ogres, and then I have this yoked Carnosaur. So we're going to bring him down and around and through and then back out, and then we're going to look for... Vengeful Rune Lord. We are going to start looking for... What do you want? Yeah, they do not like me. Negative 108 broken treaties. <laughs> yeah, how's a... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there's that. See, where's the other one at? Up here? Is that where it's at? For this? I think. Uh. It has been lost to our yeah. people for far too long. Oh, yeah. Freaking. These guys are not going to want to negotiate with me, I'm sure, now that my freaking liability rating is so low. Mm. Like, they're not going to. They ain't going to talk to me for crap. <laughs> like, even if I shoved. Yeah, still low. If I shoved freaking hundred thousand in their face, they'd be like, nah. Alrighty. Do we vortex? Yep. Bargain will be instructed. And they've entered the trade agreement. I actually thought that was going to be a war deck relation, honestly. <laughs> thought for sure we were going to get a war deck there. Freaking Hunts Marshal Expedition being allied with freaking everyone under the sun. That, mean, that being said, they are now at war with everybody, so they might not declare war on me just because they're already at war with. Everyone in the world. If you want something done, now, who am I kidding? It's the computer. Of course, he's gonna learn on me. We push on. Right, we're gonna run over here. Let's get out. Let's get out of here. We gotta go. Get back to the mainland. Yeah. Oof. My poor reliability rating. It's knowing that these, like, last artifacts are split up the way they are, honestly. Like, they're split up between, like, four different factions. Which makes this really annoying. 
it was just one guy, it would be like, okay, well, I'm just going to fight this one guy, and then I'll get the artifacts I need. But no, it's like, this guy owns this one, and this guy owns this one, and this guy owns this one. Ish. Always are best. Seeking knowledge. But no, what do I expect, I guess? Go! Can I actually get out in the ocean Off this turn? Go. Oh, we can. Nice. All right, well. What? Back over here we go. Getting yoked! Right, level that city up. That, that, that. Public order's pretty fine here, actually. So, let's... Let's get one of these, and... One of these, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. Finish leveling up that iron. What needs to be done? You need help! This place just keeps rebelling over and over again. I guess it has to do with a freaking... 88 scaling corruption here. I mean, that's how it's freaking possible. It's called the scaven are dead. <laughs> it's negative 18 from corruption. <laughs> Insanity. Like the altar of the... I suppose the altar of the horned rat. So I don't know what I should expect from that, but jeez louise. See, what's the... What the frick is the local populace? The local populace is a two. In and in of itself. Eh, it's pretty... It's pretty aggressive for a local populace. Ready. Military presence is plus 20. Yeah, the second I leave here. This public order is just going to completely tank in the Vampire Coast here. I, could, I currently do not own an Anvil Cool if I watch. Now, okay. You'll have to pay somebody that owns an Anvil, though. <laughs> and the levy, right? I even chat right. Of course, the uprising. Sure thing. Tried and tested. Okay, so. Oh, the sacred pools got taken by those guys. All right, awesome. Let's go there. Arms and armor, heavy iron. My anger burns bright. It's a hung war band. It's as good as done. Welcome, Outlander. Ah, nobody will negotiate with me because everybody hates me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yes. Let's go here. This one's getting negative twelve public order from having the region control full as well. That'll obviously go down. This is going to be 25 growth per turn, though, which is really nice for dwarves. I have a second one that's here. It was just sitting on the Awakening because the Awakening has, like, horrendous public order. I could definitely get a third army if I wanted to. Maybe I'll throw up a third army here because we're building some buildings that I could build armies out of. Uh, yeah, another tough rune lord. 25 armor and 5 mil defense. Pretty nice. Sure. Why not? On my way. Vengeful rune lord. We'll just wait there for the moment. Beep. 
If you want something done right, you want some skill point. That's oh, the Thane. The Thane. Let's give him Scarred Veteran. Extra HP is always nice. Got a week off work, got a week on work, including Saturday. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not fun. Hey, Iber. Hey, we're choosing to lose more agreeable too. Yeah, I'll make people less likely to want to kill me. But if I don't have a week on work, I have to week off money. <laughs> I mean, there's that. Honor is all. Ready for boxing. Actually building up their forces over here as well, which is a little bit concerning. Break open the casks so we can start getting this stuff. I don't think this army is going to be that scary. Nah, it's just going to be all clan rats. Pretty sure that you garrison here with your tier two walls should be able to hold them off. We got 17 person garrison. It's a bunch of thunderers and longbeards and quarrelers and stuff. I'm listening. Should not be a problem. What? Heading out. Excuse me, lizard men, we're coming through. <laughs> we're on our way to the sacred pools. We need that artifact. Thank you very much. I need some hot bean water. My anger burns bright. Don't Master we all? My hot bean water is not hot anymore. It's room temperature bean water. Which is not ideal. <laughs> Uh, I don't really need the missile resists. Green screen skins, don't care because we're not on the other side of the map. We're going to speed, I guess? Sure. Get a microwave? I do have a microwave, but then I have to get up and go microwave it. Wisdom. Bloody newfangled ships. <laughs> Bloody newfangled ships. I, I love that he doesn't like technology, so he's like constantly cursing it out. <laughs> Freaking Grandpa Dwarf over here. Stupid technology. <laughs> Let's see if we I don't know how to work my new Dowie phone. Sitting there with the glasses on his forehead. Staring down his nose. Trying to figure out how to use new dolly technology. Back in my day, we used to hit things with hammers and then solve the problem. I don't know why we had to need all this other fancy crap. Ah, Spirit of Dungle Confederated with Hexalotl. Alright. Fair enough. <laughs> 